Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Tiny Folks, a minimalist RPG that I believe is a roguelike. The title and thumbnail will let you know what decision I came to on that front, but I'm very excited to check it out. It's got like a handful of reviews here, but 100% of them are positive, and it just looks quite interesting. So let's see if we can uncover a hidden gem today, more or less. Uh, choose a name for your ruler. Oh. Oh. go for that <laughs> sure <laughs> okay uh 45 day time limit the intended tiny folks experience no time limit 30 day time limit okay so i mean let's play on normal let's play on normal we'll see what happens it all began long ago our land was peaceful peaceful but cosmic forces arrived for 45 days, dark entities ravaged the land. A powerful artifact was discovered. A crown led to a queen, dug to. Evil forces vanquished. The common folk rejoiced. But dark thoughts remained. Your majesty, quick, take shelter. We're being attacked. <laughs> Okay, all right. We are. Even in Tata. Well, well, well. Only two tiny folks to defend such a powerful artifact. How cute. You will never obtain a thing from me, evil creature. In that case, I'll take the crown from your dead skull. Guards, kill him. Okay. Knife, shirt, no artifact. So, I mean, do I just have... Do I just have an attack? Like, j I think this is tutorializing me. Like, you have to just attack right now. James attacks Evil Sorcerer. Evil Sorcerer creates a dark storm above two targets. Okay, so now we can go through a couple different things. So we have 50 power. Orders plus one attack for all allies. I mean, I feel like a heal just seems like a logical call, but... Eh. Burn the target. I mean, it's... Is the target currently me? Let's find out. Oh, dang. <laughs> it looked like it was. Okay, so now it's James's turn. 10 damage to the first and second enemy. 20 damage. Plus 5 attack to all allies for two turns. Um, I mean, does that include... I would assume that includes him, too. Yeah. Sure. I don't know how much we want to manage our power, but... Well, okay, something tells me we were supposed to lose this one. Our queen was defeated. Dark forces took hold of the crown. A blast of wrath and perversion shook the land. <laughs> As the crowd's power was corrupted, our queen disappeared. And the cosmic time started to tick. Someday our land would be destroyed. But far from the crown, the queen remained. And in a moment of absolute need, she saw a town where peace still existed. Let's ruin it. Recruit folks. Oh my god, look at this. Recruit. Suitor. Okay. I've recruited a suitor. <laughs> Melee training? Select the folk. Melee train. Into a warrior? Okay. Training ends tomorrow. Towns end. Select folks. Doug 2, queen. I mean, are we going by ourselves? All right, Doug 2. So that's like, we're, we're building up a little army potentially back there. Fairy forest, very easy. Home of countless plants and strange creatures. So maybe like the, the loop is... Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's just permadeath and you have this sort of timer and it's like, it's grand scheme, roguelike, roguelite in the same way that you could consider maybe Darkest Dungeon 1 to. But I, it's always a fine line to walk that one. We'll see, we'll see. I don't know what's randomized. I don't know what's what. Okay, so we can do five damage with an attack. It feels like maybe just smacking a son of a gun. No reason to give ourselves plus one attack when they die in five. I feel like just going for attack, 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 maybe burn, depending on what, I don't know how good burn is. 
Brock jumps forward. Ah, okay, so we can't actually attack the back line now. Not letting us do a little bit of a swap back. One second here. Sorry. All right. Uh, yeah, I mean... Oh, a burn would let me pick the back line if I wanted. I don't know how much I trust this. Let's find that. So a burn... Does it do two every turn? Seven. Wait, what? So it does more damage than the base attack, but it lets them go further an entire turn first. So the question is if that's going to do seven as well. I mean, I guess I'll just attack then. If it does seven, we'll see. Okay. You won the battle. Current bounty, four berries. Oh. I see. It's a press your luck game in that right now. Ooh. Next. Consider luck pressed. So we can go for the smite. I mean, we have a limited amount of power, but, like, let's get the burn on for now. I wonder if the burn can stack. Because in that regard... So it's about to do seven. Let's give it a shot. So it goes back up to two, so it's... Alright. I think it'll be fine. Four stacks of poison. Give ourselves a little bit of a heal. He's dead next turn, anyways. Dug two heals Dug two. Dug two is poison and end. Poison and end. I like this visual style. I it's Obviously, it's very minimalist, very simplistic, but... It's like... What it feels like... It feels like if I took a Game Boy game, and then I grabbed it... And then I, like, stuck my face, like, one inch into the screen. Like, inside the screen. And I could see the Game Boy world with my human eyes. You're about to face the boss. You will no longer be able to flee. Continue? Okay. If I die here, you know what? That's fine. It's Wispy Woods! Burn weak. Well, great. I'm burn strong. 17! Well, I see why they wanted us to take Doug Doug, and they thought Doug Doug the second. Is Doug Doug a thing? I feel like I've heard that somewhere. Is that a YouTube? Is that a YouTube? I'm Doug too. Completely different. I'm Doug the second. Boink. Get wrecked. Tree hugger. Okay, so we got rabbit's foot, sap, potion. I got no freaking clue. I got an achievement called. <laughs> okay. Suter is a warrior. Okay. Build a temple, magicarium, camp, slum, barrack. Oh my god, we have so many options. Learn how to use shields. Train two experienced folks at a time. Increase your max population by one. Okay, well, let's go here for a sec. Can we get it? Yo! Yo! I mean, it's free. We might as well hire him. Uh, Nintendo, hire this man. Weapon upgrade. Knife into dagger plus two attack. It's only 50 gold. It feels like, why wouldn't I do it? Ends tomorrow. Okay, because there's a limit. Like, the answer is, I don't know why you wouldn't do it, but... You have a limit. Rabbit's foot plus two defense. I mean... Ah. Maybe I... Maybe I want that on you? Maybe? Yol? Yol! Um, shield training unlock at building level two. Muscle boost. Temple camp. Give me the magicarium. Do we have the stuff for it? We do! Building, okay, building ends tomorrow, progress ends tomorrow. We got the weapon upgrade going, melee training. I mean, let's put Yol in there. Wait. Okay, so he goes from a folk to a warrior. Sure. I hope I didn't waste my money. I hope I got my money back. I, I may not have. That's all right. Uh, Calm Knight unlocked at building level two. Recruit experienced folks, add beds to heal your folks faster. Max pop up by one. 
Apparently we can still build this. Unlock hunting training. Criminal training. What the hell, man? Fine. I wonder, can I, uh... Can I... I get, I get my money back. I was willing to risk it. That ends tomorrow. That's fine. That's fine. Yol is available. Eh. It feels suboptimal to not have Yol be training, but... Alas! Items. So we can bring... I'll bring a potion. This is like... It's like a... What if... This is like, what if you went back in time and you found the Game Boy game that inspired Darkest Dungeon? That's like... That feels like what's... What's happening here? But like... We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Obviously it can go... It can go in a much different way still. Select folks. Wait, why can't I... Why can't I bring, uh... Doug 2? Hurt for a day. Oh, is it Like, am I supposed to wait? Maybe I do want... Maybe I actually do want Yol to... Suter? So Suter is being used as well, then. Oh, that changes things. But, like, if we're on a day limit, then this is... Becomes interesting. Comes different. Um, in team. How do I take him out? Just take him out there. Hmm. So maybe we want to wait then. How, is there a, like a... How do I decide to just like say, you know what? Just pass a day. I don't know if there is a way to do so. Because I don't know if Yol can handle himself. Explore empty team. Oh, sleep probably. Yol is a warrior. Soothair upgraded his knife to a dagger. Magic harem upgraded to level one. Camper upgraded to level one. Okay. Well, we got two warriors. That's fine. We can we can recruit town full. So this increases max population. Doesn't um. Doesn't this do that too? Yeah. Okay. Does this does it cost a bunch of gold? I mean, let's just head out. Let's head out with our crew. How about that? Can't bring everybody. Yeah. Suboptimal. Oh, well. It's fine. Bring them both. You really doing nothing, Yol? Shop? Item, item, artifact, poison defense. Holy moly. All right, let's, let's just go get money. Let's just go get money. Goblin Valley Carrot Farm. All right. Oh, the music there. Twelve damage to the first enemy, plus five attack for all allies for two turns. I mean, the big thing of concern is you. I feel like let's just go with the strike. God, why is this music such a freaking bop? Okay, then we'll go with a basic attack. I mean, I wish we could have gone up with our thing. Are we? Do we just shift back and forth? Okay, well, apparently we can't, like, get your attention over here. I mean, just go for the standard attacks probably for now, right? I don't think we really need to, to go with anything wild. Current bounty is two berries. 12 damage to both, or 22 damage to one. Hmm. Let's war cry first. I think. Do it. War cry. Ouch. Yeah, with the 10 damage, we'll be able to get them with a back and forth now a little bit here. 17 damage to both. God, I wish that worked better. And then we do 12 with that. Okay, maybe it, maybe it is fine. Maybe it's fine. I don't know. Is, is there like a turn order somewhere? Okay, we got roared at. 
Am I missing the turn order? God, why do I love this music? Hey! Oh, I did five? Oh, it's because we were weakened, you son of a... That roar messed things up. I wish it would have just been an attack, honestly. I'm ready to face the boss. We have the ability to heal if we need to. The status facts carry over from the first round. Oh my god, hello! Five attack for all allies for two turns. It's probably just straight up worth it, but at the same time, you know what? Let's just go for the strike. We have the potion should we need it. That's it? That doesn't really matter. Plus one attack for all allies for 10 turns. I mean, it's not bad. All right, what does the burn do? Does it still do seven? Nice. Take it. All right. All right. I mean, nice and easy, honestly. Boom, bang. If only we had that plus one attack buff. We would have had it by now. I mean, pretty, pretty easy peasy. I can only imagine it's not going to stay that way over the course of time. I heard uh, the, the reviews were saying it gets brutal, like it gets brutal. Uh, I believe there's been, they patched in the difficulty modifiers. It only came out a couple days ago, but um, it only came out yesterday at the time of recording, uh, which makes it clear when I'm recording this, but <laughs> you know, working pretty quickly there. We have a thousand gold. Okay, good. We, we get a decent chunk. Oh, wait. Oh, interesting. So can you like, so that should get, make it so I have another class. How? It doesn't. The camp does not give an extra class slot, or another character slot. So is a captain, a captain is a mix between a warrior and an archer. Is that what's going on here? Or you could go to the barracks and get more melee training. Oh, that's so cool. So I could either keep on training him down the warrior path. Or I could do this and train him down a different path, like kind of like multi-classing in a way. That's so cool. I, I want to do that. That's just that's just too interesting to me. Um, I believe everybody's either hurt or training right now. I feel like we really do need to get a uh, another folk slot. Increase your max population. Yeah, when we get a fourth folk, I'll probably just be bringing two. But still, I think we head to sleep now. Yol is a captain. Oh, wait. Oh, it does give us an extra slot. It just wasn't done yet. There we go. So you're there. Let's potion craft. What is potion craft like? Okay, we need certain components. Oh, it tells you what you need, too. This is, wait, this is a lot more than I expected. This game is $4. <laughs> it's on sale for $3.50. There's a lot more going on than I expected. Oh, like a lot more going on than I expected. I was not expecting this when I heard the word minimal. Minimalist. Scroll study, we could do a little bit of that. Isaac could become an apprentice. If for no other reason than because I want to see what happens if I multi-class it with something else. So... Alright, so it seems like when you class them up twice, that maybe is where they stay... Should I melee upgrade a weapon, maybe? So who's not coming with us? Maybe Mr. Suter. Is there a reason that... Um... Am I still hurt? I'm still hurt. Oh. Okay. Man. I mean, maybe Yol can do it all by himself, honestly. Like, honestly, maybe he can. I guess I'll upgrade Yol's weapon then. And we'll call it a call it a day because we have nobody to do nothing. Alright, but we don't have a whole lot of money either though, so let's go for who are we not taking? 
I want to bring Yol. Okay, so we have Doug too. We have Yol. Isaac. Can't upgrade the weapon of Isaac. Must mean something we have to do over here. We don't have any, like, real resources, so... I feel like let's put you in here. Let's, let's just make you a very powerful warrior. We'll maybe upgrade them to a berserker next time. Go to Town Zen. We'll bring... Let's bring Yol and Isaac. I'm gonna hope a captain still retains some of their warrior status. I imagine it's kind of like an Aragorn. I mean, I see a sword, I see a bow. That's so cool. It's such, it's such a little thing, but I just like it so much. Uh, nothing to worry about there. Like, do I care about moving my artifacts onto somebody? Maybe. Plus 5% gold. Plus a zero max HP? <laughs> Is that on purpose? Is that on purpose? Like I'll I'll put the uh put this on you. And then we'll put the defense on Yule. That sounds good to me. I don't think I want to bring a third, because I think I, I I think that it will get kind of messy if we have a, like a squad with three and a squad with one. I feel like that'll get kind of messy. Medium, hot oasis, arid, and suffocating. Let's go to carrot farm. Okay, so what do we have? We have shoot, attack. Why would we ever just... Why would we ever even do attack? Uh, oh, because it only can target the front row. And shoot can't target the front row. So it's much better for us to not hit the front. Uh, aim minus five defense on a specific target for three turns. Give five damage and burn the target. Ignore attack and defense. Oh, cool. I mean, seems very strong. Ah, we've swapped. How do we... Does that matter? We have... Okay, we have to go through four here. I'll just trust... Magic trick. Five damage. Icicle. Okay, so we have a lot more power, but these are, are a lot more expensive, too. Do we... S I'm gonna spend ten so we don't take a hit. So we don't have to worry about anything. Two leather. Ah, uh, so we probably could, like, go on and farm some of the other areas that we've been. You know... Immune to bleed, burn weak. It's just magic trick the front. Like, I don't want to spend too many of my resources here. Like, this is a little sketchy, though, because we don't really have a good heal. And by that, I mean we don't have a heal. We'll burn the back line because he is vulnerable to it. He may even die next turn as a result. All right. Very good. We can go for a magic trick on the front line. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No, we're weakened. God, that's the second time that's happened. I got to pay more attention to this tiny little blue thing there. Uh, I believe their move can hit... Their icicle move can hit position one. I hope that's the case at the very least. Heal 50. All right, good. I think it's worth... I think it's worth... That... Okay, that harms the magic, too. That harms magic, too. For some reason, I assumed that it, it was only going to be melee. But all damage is compiled in to the same stat. Good, Very good to know. Oh, the fact that you live this long is a problem. I might want to flee. I have the potion. Wait, does this hits all of them? That hits all of them. Oh, that changes things. The fire happens after, though. It's a little sketchy. 
So that's a triple kill. I mean, I hope that you get to go before them so that I can do my... Nope, we do not get that. No such luck. This is scary. Oh, this is scary. Can I... It says targets. It says targets! Okay, good. Uh, the question is if we stay or not now. I could go all out and just make sure this pig dies. That may be a better call. Because he's in position one, which is a really bad spot for me to hit with the other guy. I think we do that and we... We call it an outing. Lest we lose somebody. I, I think this is where we say, go back to town. It's not great. But it's, it's workable. There's also the temple. I don't want another captain. Okay, so let me just check. We, we Obviously, we can't recruit somebody else. No, not yet. We don't have enough money to upgrade another thing. I don't know if I want to build a temple at the moment. Okay, so for example, we have Suter and Doug, who should be more than good enough to handle this. Can't get an upgrade, I imagine. Yeah, no, it'd be it'd be blinking if we could. We can probably weapon upgrade somebody. Should I upgrade? Maybe I can upgrade Yol's weapon. Unless I can upgrade No, the weapon here. I can't upgrade the bow here. Maybe that's the thing. Maybe the bow is just innately stronger. Improve your melee and ranged weapons. Oh no, I upgrade the bow here. What am I talking about? The Oh. I would like to upgrade my... I mean, sure, fine. I'll trust you. And I think we go... I think we go now. Item. Do I bring a potion? If I'm bringing a healer, I, I might not need a potion. Also, Suter has... A super upgraded sword. I think that going for, at the very least... Taking the artifacts back. And Doug. Suter and Doug. Doug too. It's trying to get me to bring a potion. If I don't use it, maybe I don't lose it. I was under the assumption I would. But yeah, if we can get a good old, like, back and forth, like, send two units, wait... Or, like, they wait, send two other units. That will work a lot better. Okay. It's huge. That did no damage? Incredible. I feel like a burn into a standard attack. Well, I guess an attack into an attack would have worked. Yeah. Should have done it. Alas. Three damage. It's not that big of a deal. Oh, you... You better let me go with my warrior. Thank you. Thank you. Next. I really feel like this is the way to go. Ten energy to get both of them. Fear, so we have the attack downgrade there. I will forget about that. But the burn, he's weak against it. Feels like it's a good call. I think the standard attack mixed with the double burn should probably be enough. Is that minus four damage or minus damage for four turns? There's a pretty noticeable difference between those two. God, this team is so, just so much more reliably strong. I can't spend too much of my energy. This is the one outing we have. Like, it, it's an very curious system. Like, I, I like it. I think it's I think it's smart. The fact that there doesn't seem to be any regen, you know? Okay, so if I go this 13, 13, we can get it in... We can get it in two turns. I don't love it. Five. I think it's fine, though. 
I think it's better to not spend our energy on this turn. Especially because now we don't have the attack damage downgrade for the boss fight. Which we can totally handle. Hello. Bull. I think we just go for raw damage. I think we just burn them. It's not that bad. Get the, uh, the smite. We may not last, like, long enough to, uh, to see the other one there, though. We will go for the other 25. That's what we were conserving our energy for. That's why we've been buffing up our sword as well. We're hard. I wonder if I heal myself. It's irrelevant. I think it's relevant. But if I leave and I don't have any damage, do I have to rest? Toro! <laughs> Toro! Dagger's been upgraded to a sword there. Oh my god, we got upgrades out the wazoo. Town full. Understand the bowl. You're still hurt. Three days! Oh my god! Three days! So you can't train. They can't train while they're hurt. Interesting. And I can't... I feel like we're gonna end up... Yeah, I don't want to send Yol out by himself. And Yol's already trained up. Could give him an even better weapon upgrade. I do like Yol. We get... Uh, learn how to use shield. Train two experienced folk at a time. Two experienced folk at a time. Interesting. Nature research. What's nature research gonna be? Like, part of me wants to go for these other things, but I feel like I just don't have enough to... Magic staff upgrades. Do it. We can get that tomorrow. But what do we want to do for today with our resources? I don't want to spend too much because I would like to upgrade somebody else tomorrow. So maybe a weapon upgrade if it's not too expensive? Yeah. Let's upgrade Yol's sword to a war blade. Seems like a good idea here. Should, I mean, should I upgrade another thing? Barracks. Fine. Fine. Sleep. Ends level 2. Sword to a war blade. Magicarium. Okay, so what is this here? Staff upgrade. Okay, so now we can upgrade the staff. Gotcha. Turn you into a wizard. I can't train you. Not right in this minute. But I can go get a free recruit. Ah, and I can get Joseph, who has already got a bow. Oh, I can get both, and I might as well get both. Costs 300 gold. I could get Danov up there. Hmm. I don't know what I want to upgrade. There's so... Like, you wouldn't think there'd be as many options as there are right now. You would not think so. So what do we have? We're, we've got a little bit of everything already. I feel like another magician. Let's do that, and then we'll set out, I guess, unless we can get a weapon upgrade for somebody. Yeah, let's upgrade Joseph's bow. Town's end. So everybody else is still hurt. Yol and Isaac. Should we not be, like, pushing ourselves further? And also, we do get to keep this potion. So yeah, I my guess here is that it is it's kind of it's tangentially a roguelite in the same way 
that Darkest Dungeon is. If you look at each run itself as having a potential permadeath fail state, it's kind of the, the closest analog I can think of is only going to probably ring true to people who have watched my channel is Apocalypse, the game that is effectively the uh, the open world game where you go through like a full Skyrim kind of playthrough, except everything is just very zoomed out, very tiny. You go through the whole thing and each run, like the world has a permadeath state. I think that that's what's going on. We have a 45 day timer. We're on day nine out of 45. If we do not, if we do not get to where we need to go at by day 45, we have permadeath failed this run. I think that that's what's going on. I, I think it's it's a roguelite in the loosest of terms. Um, roguelike in the loosest of terms, I guess. Oh boy, should we? Okay, apparently it's also medium. Medium, medium. Let's go with ancient runes, I guess. I love how different each zone feels. Like it's when you have a, an art style that's so 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 simplistic but still has so much character, it feels really cool to go to a different zone and like feel how different everything is. Immune to burn and bleed, a little rough. Okay, these guys are a little, little dangerous. A little dangerous. Let's go shoot. Burn, okay. I, I'm thinking we might not get to stay for very long, especially because Isaac seems pretty bad because he's got no strength upgrade on his weapon. He's just more or less a base unit. Yeah, I think we maybe just need to get what we can out of this. Scary thought to Isaac. Willow's body's ethereal. I don't know what that means. Three defense will go a long way here, man. That sucks. I guess I'll shoot and weaken because I'm assuming that defense. Oh my god, and the three defense again. Uh, do we see? Do do we just see what it does? I mean, I feel like I know what it does. Let's attack here. Probably reduces the damage by about three. But yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Is it looks like it's on a cooldown. Oh my god. Let's start weakening them down so that hopefully they won't have armor and we can get them. We have the minus two, so we only do three damage right now. Yeah, this is this is rough. I think that maybe we need to uh, we should have farmed a slightly easier area. I thought that this unit would maybe be able to carry us more here, but it's not, not seeming so. So yeah, it, it does exactly what I thought. It reduces it by, by three. We really should be like killing units. Action economy is telling me that everything I'm doing is suboptimal. Immune to burn, but not immune to fire damage, I, I would assume. No, immune to fire damage in general. That surprises me. Because it says immune to burn. It doesn't say immune to fire. I mean, that's fine. Can only hit that. No, I think he actually... Well, whatever. It'll be fine. Now we're doing five. You got that. Let's just... um, Let's just spend everything and get the hell out of here. This is not... Not worth... Danov is an apprentice... We didn't get that much money either. Druid. Ooh. Just another weapon upgrade. Uh, Sorcerer. Interesting. What do I want Danob to be? I kind of I kind of like the idea of a Druid. Again, should we be going for those, like all these upgrades specifically? Maybe not, but it feels right. It feels fun to go for that stuff. We're now potionless. Joseph and Doug 2. Just a standard ranger. I feel like this is going to be... I don't know if we can handle... 
one of these. I think this may unfortunately be like a go back to Carrot Farm kind of a vibe. I don't think it's quite strong enough to handle anything a little bit further. Because, yeah, even just doing 10 damage. Oh, it ain't good, man. Seven arrow stab. Okay, I'm, I mean, I'm happy we got the shoot here. That will get us some lethal. I think we go for the burn on this. No. No, no, no. We want to get him. It's fine. We could take him out with the burn. I mean, since we did the burn, now we probably should pivot to shoot. And we can't kill there, so we go for the stab, pivot to shoot on pig. To stop it this turn, right? Yep. Since we made that choice, I think that that turned into the optimal play. By proxy. Afterwards, we got some fabric. I'm very curious to see what all that stuff is used for. Aye, aye, aye. I mean, at least we get to heal. Fire arrow in the back line. Huge pickup, I'd say. Getting it out of the way a little bit quicker, and then we go for the... Ooh, I hate that swap there. That swap actually is really bad. Because I can't attack the other one. Oh, that swap is really annoying. Because <laughs> the bow can't target position one. Oh, that swap is so annoying. Ew. Ew. Yeah, the ba base ranger. Very not great. I mean, if we had the full group, it'd be a different story. It did not. So it is not. I've got the heal, so I think that we can push our luck to the next one. Maybe even pushing our luck one further. Fair. Can definitely handle this next one. The question is if we go any further than that. The rooster we want gone. Well, and we will... It will get... We'll get it. The archer can take it in one. Because the rooster spawned somebody else last time. Which is not good. Okay. And then the burn. I feel like it's not quite enough. You got eight. <sighs> Let's go for the heal. It's fine. Go for the heal. Stall a little bit. We get the um, the poison off of us. Uh, unfortunately, we'll probably lose our attack buff as well. It's fine. Can we? I think we can handle the boss. I think we can handle the boss. We will see. Wait, this isn't the boss. Oh, we don't fight the. We don't get to fight the boss anymore. Okay. Interesting. Not great. If we can take the damage, the burn is more is more optimal. If the damage is fine. We have no AoE. We'll just go down the line. Joseph will take them arrowing from the back. And we will burn them from the front. And I don't think that this will be an issue. But yeah, there's, so there's no more boss here. You can only get the experience and reward from them one time. That feels fitting. I, I, I like that. I like that. It makes a little more sense, actually. Other than they're just being like, this specific one boss you can keep coming back to to farm. Doesn't feel so right. You can't attack... Yeah, I guess we I guess we burn this one. We don't The question is maybe I should heal so that they're not gone for more days. I don't know if that's how it works or not. It may also just be like how difficult the mission is, is how long they are or how much they are quote unquote hurt. Let's let's see if we can stall and heal. I doubt it. I want to go before the chicken. Okay, great. 
maybe we'll see. We'll see if we have less days to wait on Doug 2 than we do on Joseph. Is that who it is? So we got that bounty. Danov is a druid. Can we change the names of these? Ah, uh, That would be my big desire for a change. So it's a druid. Just become a wizard. Just become, just become a wizard. I can upgrade Danov. I kind of want to bring Danov, though. Oh, Doug. We can upgrade Doug 2's weapon. What's Calm Knight? Heal your folks faster. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. It really, yeah, it's like a, it's a, like a resource managey kind of element. For people who really, like, really miss the Hamlet management in Darkest Dungeon 2, this feels like what you should play. <laughs> like, genuinely. For people who are like, man, I, I'm, I'm, Darkest Dungeon's cool and all. Darkest Dungeon 2 is cool and all, but I missed the Hamlet aspect. This feels like the game. This feels like the game. Alright. Uh, I have 616. I don't have like a... Like, I could go for a... Fine. We'll see what that's like. Danov and Yol. Danov and Yol, you know what? I trust you. Let's go. Sitopia? We went to the ancient ruins, right? We did. You know what? Take me to Sitopia. Oh. Witch? Zombie? Okay, these are... These are spooky. We can shoot for 25. I guess we start doing that, then. I don't think we'll be able to beat this. 10 damage and 4 poison. This is brutal. C cataplasm. Ooh, 15 HP and remove poison and bleed. Okay. 10 damage and poison the target. 10 damage to all enemies. Wow. Just 3 damage and bleeds the target. Okay, Danov, if we got some of the staff upgrades, would be great. Also, I'm noticing we have the, uh, the shirt. This clearly means we will get the ability at some point to upgrade that. Like, obviously. So five mana to do... Well, obviously I should have waited, because then we could remove two stacks of poison for one. When did you heal? Hmm. Shoot. Three and bleed. So this is much more of a support unit. How much does bleed do? How much does bleed do? Oh, that sucks. Okay, 33 damage. This okay. This place is nuts. Okay. Um, I guess we'll just uh, just fine. We'll get you out of here. We get some money to play around with. 15 heal and getting rid of the poison, I guess. But if we get another 33 damage from you, then we curse. That's okay. Alright, let's immune to poison. Not immune to bleed. Not immune to fire. I feel like maybe getting a couple of status effects there. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Can they have both? They can have both. Okay, they flick, they flick it back and forth. That, that's an elegant little solution there. Holy moly! I kind of want to see what happens when somebody dies. Though I can't, I can't deny. I have a morbid curiosity. Like we're about to end the video. I have a morbid curiosity if the characters die forever. Do we sacrifice somebody and just kind of see what happens? Sacrifice El Capitan. Let's do it. Which enchants the zombie? I mean, 
Let's just keep on wasting your stuff here. Let's see. I really, I really want to know if it's if he's dead, dead forever. Because then it, then the, uh, the darkest dungeon paralog is very, very noticeable. Uh, analog, paralog. <laughs> uh, this ain't looking too good though. It ain't looking too good for Danov to even handle this. Which gave a potion to the zombie? You dirty fool. We just ki kill him already. Yol is dead. Okay. I wanted to see. I want th this is an this was an important thing to know about this game. Yol is dead. For the, I'm assuming it's forever. I'm assuming it's permadeath, but I needed to know. It is. So yeah. Wow, this is very this is an amazing game. <laughs> like this game is really good for four dollars <laughs> this is crazy uh the amount of complexity and depth like it's it, is there a lot as far as um here let's just go back out to see like we can bring the full team the full squad if we wanted to explore out to there we would probably want to bring four units seem like maybe we grind for a little bit stuff like that um but yeah like i imagine that you go through here if you lose your all your units you know you'll ever you'll get to a point where you run out of days it's like what if you super condensed darkest dungeon down into its basest forms like that sorry just the first darkest dungeon down to its base form added a really interesting yet simplistic yet deep class system and make it all about making sure you manage your hamlet your little home uh your little home base properly like putting a really big emphasis on that and making sure you send people out appropriately and manage them like a resource as well like they are your biggest resource is the actual units and characters themselves uh incredibly cool incredibly cool this game is great i cannot recommend it enough for the price of four dollars again it's 350 while i'm recording it that that's going on that sale's going on for until june 8th but genuinely just pick it up for four, four if you're watching this and it's not on sale just buy it for four dollars man it's it's wow very cool very very cool very recommended check it out link in the top description if you never want to miss any under the radar indie roguelikes uh like this this is the channel for you probably the best place on youtube to be subscribed to to find the best under under the radar hidden indie roguelites and roguelikes and stuff like that of which i would consider this uh yeah if darkest dungeon one is a roguelite so is this uh, but alas alas very good very very good thank you for watching check out the channel roguelikes more every single day and i will see you next time bye